my beautiful souls it's a glorious day now it was started off torrential rain here this morning and um, i'm here on the beach with lantern about to go and have a swim swimming is one of the things that makes me feel really good i feel once i've had a swim everything's all right <laughs> everything is good when i'm in the water i don't feel any pain i'm not coughing i'm just in pure, pure peace and pure harmony with everything so i thank the sea every single day it's it's uh it's my space of rejuvenation renewal regeneration and a beautiful place to come and just relax today i thought i'd share a little light on sleeping i know that so many do not give enough space to allow themselves to properly sleep for at least eight hours or more but actually with the kind of light available to us now to integrate into our systems and to help us to hold more light we do have to actually have space to fully integrate it we're becoming crystalline aligning with the Christ, aligning with the Christ consciousness, aligning with the unity consciousness, becoming more unified, returning back to that that we are, heart-centered, oneness. And having appropriate amounts of sleep actually really assists us to integrate all of the frequencies, everything that we have been picking up, like the codes and the keys out in nature, letting us to let go of things that we do not serve us or just do not help us or sustain us, helping us to align with the wisdom within that we may have not noticed, calms the mind, regulates the nervous system, helps the body to repair itself, so sleep is imperative. It's always been imperative. And certainly at the moment where humanity is changing, it's vital. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to always be so necessary that humans need to sleep for great amounts of time. Last night, I was doing a lot of work with Babaji. And um, for those of you that know Babaji and have worked with Babaji, you will know that he is a master and that when he takes you to his hermitage and reminds you of all of the, the wisdom and the mastery that you already have, it's like, oh gosh, yes, of course. Oh yes, I remember. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Sometimes when we wake up in the morning, we can feel a bit groggy. And finding our first steps can be a little bit shaky. But that doesn't mean we don't know how to walk. It just means that we're just waking up out of a fog, a deep slumber. And this is very much how things are here on this planet, is that some person might be very advanced in one thing, having maybe experienced a certain way of living or being countless times in multiple different Places of existence, but they may not necessarily be fully functional and developed in another area. And that's fine. Everybody gets to learn and experience that that they need to experience. As we develop and grow and expand, we will find that certain things that humans do right now, and if you say to somebody who's very uh, indoctrined in the human condition and the human way of living, they will think, no, 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 that's not true. That's, that's not possible. People can't do that. You, everybody has to eat. Everybody has to drink. Everybody has to, has to, has to, has to, has to. But the lighter we become, the less we will need to eat, the less we will need to drink, the less we will need to sleep. We won't need to do certain things. Because we change, the physical, the whole physical makeup changes, and we sh we shape shift literally quite easily. At the moment, 
uh, well, for quite some time, it's always been very easy for me to see people's different aspects and they can pop in and out quite frequently. And these different aspects can assist us whilst we're here to just feel the joy and the lightness because the human body is fairly heavy and certainly the human mind is jolly heavy but we don't have to stay in that space we can be divine human we can allow all of our multi-dimensionality to express through this human form and be light and not need to be putting all of these heavy dense foods in because that's very tiring on the body to have to process all of that that's why fasting is so good because when somebody's when a human body vehicle is constantly having to process food it takes away from other areas it takes away from like the renewal of, of certain body tissues or parts or whatever because the body's having to focus on the digestion and if the digestion is overloaded then the body's constantly focusing on the digestion never gets an opportunity just to rest and recuperate so actually fasting is really very powerful now, i'm not saying to stop eating and go into fasting it you're not ready for it because everybody has to do their own processes, go through their own ways of living and being, and then when it's appropriate time for them to do certain practices and to experience certain practices, then you go about doing those. I, I really suggest working with masters, um, with angelics, with galactics, and you can document your progress, you can write it all down in a journal, and say, oh, you know, this is what I learned today with Babaji, or this is what I learned today with whoever it is that you're working with. Of course, you don't actually have to work with anyone. You can go within and you can find all the wisdom there. But it is fun to, to connect, and it is fun to play. And there's a lot of joy and laughter when you're working with different masters and galactics. So I do recommend it and invite you to play there. And at the moment, where we're all integrating quite a lot and processing quite a lot, I just want to share this gentle reminder and invite you all to make sure that you take good sleep, good rest throughout your day. Also, make linear time to apply yourself by following your joy. For me, the joy is swimming in the sea. For you, the joy might be something else cycling, climbing a mountain, walking through the woods, whatever it is, please make sure that you do that for your soul and for your beingness so that you energize yourself, you bring joy to your heart and that you're also getting good sleep so you can integrate all of the frequencies and the energies that are being shared here on Gaia right now. I wish you love, light and joy. My name is Zaza and I'm coming to you from the beach. Like, subscribe and share please. I also just want to say thank you very much for all of the latest comments. I will get around to answering them soon. And uh, yes, some comments I didn't see in the, in, the, in the threads. They don't always show and I don't know why that is. So um, if I don't like something or reply, then it may be that I haven't seen it. Okay, thanks very much. Peace.